All right, Logan, everybody, welcome back to the channel here. Today we are going to talk a little bit about the command in the Airbus, the open climb or the open descent, specifically what that means and what it tells the airplane to do and how it reacts when you give it this sort of command. I had somebody ask me this the other day and they wanted just a little bit more elaboration, so I figured I'd make a video and talk about it with everybody. But as always, before we get started, if you like what you're hearing and seeing, please hit the like button, leave comments down below subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, by all means, if you have any questions about any of the functionality in the, the flight deck here, I'll try to do my best to explain those things or maybe make a video for you to, to outline that a little bit further. But coming back to the topic at hand, the open climb and the open descent. First of all, this the business and, and even using this word open seems to be an Airbus specific terminology. And it's interesting that other makes of aircraft have the more or less the same command or a way of getting the airplane to do the exact same thing, but they tend to use the, the term flight level change. So you see us on the Boeings, the Ember Airs. I, I think there's a few other aircraft out there that, that use the same phraseology or the same wording, like I said, and you know why Airbus chose to be different, I, I really don't know. It's interesting, but you know, basically, you know, a flight level change and open descent or climb or, or the exact same uh, type of thing in the sense that it's getting the airplane to either use a a full thrust climb or a thrust idle descent to to reattain you know the the next desired altitude that you're asking the airplane to to get itself to. So I wanted to, like I said, I just wanted to show you a little bit of, uh, of a demonstration about how exactly this works in the flight deck. So. Let's say we're, we're cruising along here at 10,000 feet. And by the way, I've got us in a uh, selected speed mode of 250 knots. Um, if we wanted to, to climb, let's say, we could come in here, we could wheel the, the altitude selector knob up. Let's say we wanted to go to 15,000 feet. So we're pre-selecting 15,000 feet here, and we see that on the PFD. And remember, everything in the Airbus, or at least on the FCU or on the, the autopilot up here, it's all a, either a push or a pull command. And if you, I'd mentioned this in one of the prior videos, but anytime you're pulling on the knobs, it's putting the airplane into selected mode. So it's allowing us as the pilots to make a selection. It's kind of taking the power away from the autopilot in a way to, to you know, do its own thing. More elaboration on that later. It's a, a very important concept to tackle, especially with the, the vertical modes of the airplane and, and how these all play out in the real world there. But like I said, we want to climb to 15,000 feet. We want to use an open descent. And um, we want to get the airplane headed that direction. So we'll just, we, we pre-select the altitude. We'll, we'll pull on the knob there. And we see the the um, the auto thrust mode here. We see that it's gone to thrust climb. We've gone into open climb. We can see that the, the thrust, um, the needles have actually moved all the way up to the climb D10 or, you know, wherever the, um, the top of the, uh, you know, the thrust capabilities are for this point in time. So really what the airplane is doing at this, you know, in this um, in this sort of mode is it's actually going to pitch for the airspeed. So it's going to use 250 knots and try to maintain 250 knots. And whatever vertical speed that corresponds to is, is what it's going to, you know, use to get itself up to the 15,000 feet there. So this, the vertical speed might actually modulate. So you'll kind of see that wavering up and down as the airplane is still trying to target like we said, this selected speed here. Now, one thing that's interesting, if we wanted to, let's say, increase the vertical speed or get it to climb faster, we could actually wheel the, the selected speed down. So the airplane is, is climbing at a slower speed, but it's using that extra uh, demand there, let's say, to, to go ahead and target a, a greater vertical speed that corresponds in such a fashion to you know a change in selected speed here, like we said. So we kind of see it, you know, up here about 3,100 foot per minute. And let's say we wanted to, to demonstrate that once again, just in the, the opposite direction there. We wheel it, you know, back to 250 knots and we'll see the, the airplane pitch down. You know, the command bars take the nose a little bit lower and we see the, the vertical speed dropping off here. And here we are with 1,000 feet to go, 14,000, climbing for 15,000. And in a second here, we'll see the, the out star engage. And that just tells us that we're in capture mode. So the airplane's actually seeing it's getting close and it's, it's going to start to you know, kind of round out this maneuver and make a nice gradual capture right there at 15,000 feet. And you know, when that happens also, we're going to have some residual thrust. So you already see the thrust levers coming back, and they're going to do whatever they have to do to, to allow the airplane to fly level at 15,000 feet here and 250 knots. So exact thing will happen um, in the opposite, in, you know, we could say in a sense here. So like I mentioned a moment ago, um, oops, i got to wait, wait till it... Uh, it, uh, alt captures there, so that's we got a good altitude capture there, as symbolized by the the white box there. So once that's captured, we can go ahead and wheel in a different altitude. And let's say you wanted to take it down to 
um, 5,000 feet now, let's say, and let's, let's say you wanted to use an open descent. So here we are, we're verifying, we're gonna go down to 5,000 feet. We pull on that knob once again, thrust idle, open descent. You see the, the thrust needles coming back. They're gonna go all the way back to thrust idle. And the airplane is just going to pitch once again for 250 knots. You know, whatever vertical speed that corresponds to is however fast that uh, we're going to get down to that altitude. So the, the same exact relationship exists in the reverse. If we wanted to change the rate of descent, this is actually something we'll do in the real world. If we're, we're seeing you know, that we're in a situation where we need to get down to make a crossing restriction, let's say, um, we can actually get the airplane to descend faster without having to use the, the, the boards or the sp the speed brakes, let's say, it's just a little bit smoother way to operate the airplane. And as provided we have some leeway on the speed, you know, if the controller hasn't told us to maintain anything, anything in specific, we can get this thing going down pretty fast. So I'll just, I'll go ahead and, and you know, let's say we want to put it up to 280 knots. We well, see the nose pitch down, you see the vertical speed, the rate start to pick up a little bit more and the airplane is just, you know, it's still doing the same thing. It's at thrust idle, it's just pitching down the nose to try to uh, use that pitch once again to attain this, the selected airspeed that we're asking it to do. So, of course, in the real world, you know, as we come through 10,000 feet, we're going to need to be at 250 knots, or at least in the United States here, for for the speed restriction there. So we could go ahead and you know bring the uh, the speed back once again. And, and you can also see that this you know stretches out the glide a little bit once you know once more, and you know the, the, all the corresponding change of vertical speed. I think you get the concept at this point, but you see how this is working. Um, so that really just, you know, pretty much encapsulates everything I wanted to tell you about open climb and open descent. So you can hopefully see and correlate how exactly they work. And, you know, one, one thing also to touch on that's, you know, a whole other topic to talk about in a different day. But, you know, once again, because we're in an open uh, mode here, or we're in a pilot selected mode, if we had crossing restrictions programmed in the box, in other words, you know, you have all these points coming down that can arrival, let's say, and if you're, you're descending the airplane in an open descent, it's actually going to disregard all of those, those crossing restrictions that might be altitude windows that step you all the way down this nice procedure there. So that's just, when you hear this term also about, you know, selected versus managed mode, this is exactly what it's talking about. You know, you're, you're, you're taking the airplane out of that managed mode when you go to something like an open descent, you're saying, hey, disregard all those crossing restrictions. I just want you to do what I'm telling you to do and just, you know, descend it, you know, in this case, a thrust idle at this speed. And that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. So uh, I hope that makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Once again, I really appreciate you tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll talk again real soon. Bye-bye.